Hello, this is Jennifer Tochi, again on 4th of July. Yes, two in one day, who would have thought? Usually I'm lucky to get two in one week. Okay, so, I decided since I just did that review of my little sister that I like so much, I would kind of add in a video about two movies that I also like. And no, they're not Revenge of the Nerds or Howard the Duck, because I've already done those. Yeah, these kind of movies, these movies kind of go together, but they're not part one and part two. Oh my goodness. So, um, Better Off Dead and One Crazy Summer. My goodness, they are like my most viewed DVDs and VHS movies besides Revenge of the Nerds. And I think they're about equal to Howard the Duck. Yes. If you like that kind of cheesy, corny, weird comedies, um, which I like. I think you'll like these movies. Yes. They're both made in 1986 with written and directed by Savage Steve Holland. Yes. And they both have great animation. Better Off Dead has claymation. Remember that from Clash of the Titans? The original, not the new one. And ah, there's the clock again. The Christmas clock. I apologize for this. And I apologize for my neighbors outside. I live in a party town with party people. And. I stay home usually these days. Um, St. Patrick's Day, the fourth, third, and fourth of July, my town goes crazy. I once accident left my door unlocked, and oh, found a guy asleep on my couch. <laughs> yes, and when you're a person who don't drink, don't smoke, and a big old town of people who drink and smoke too much on holidays ah, why do you, why do I live here okay um I will talk about better off dead one crazy summer again yes um John Cusack yes better off dead <laughs> I'd be lost to someone new I'd be better off dead than to live without you. Yes, the song is constantly stuck in my head because I watch this movie so much. And um, that girl who falls in love with Pee Wee Herman and with his darn Pee Wee's Big Adventure sings that song in this movie. So, yes, he plays Lang. Little over obsessed with his girlfriend. Pictures of his when he wakes up in the morning. Pictures all over his room. You can't even see the wall of his girlfriend bath. He goes in the shower and takes a framed picture to put on the sink next to him. While he's taking a shower. And of course, later on in the movie... Well, not really later on, like the same day. Drink stop, sorry. Um, not Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. Um, he, his girlfriend dumps him. And he goes through, um, kind of ways of trying to kill himself. Which he fails, thank goodness. But they're stupid ways. Um, it's 
so he doesn't succeed. And he lives in this crazy weird family. He has a little brother who orders the stuff through cereal boxes. Remember when he did that? Cut out the the squares on the cereal boxes. Send the cardboard in and they'd send you like sea monkeys or something. Yeah, that's what his brother does. So every time John Cusack takes out a cereal box from the cabinet, cereal falls out. His mom is always cooking weird things. On one scene, she takes out of a pan something that looks like that strange... What are what are kids buying? Oh, that unicorn poop. That gel unicorn poop. She serves them that. It looks like that, except it's green. And it slowly moves across the table. And another scene... He's talking to his dad, and in the background, he's. You see his mom at a crock pot cooking, and octopus legs are coming out, still moving. And his dad is nuts, too. Then the paper boy has driven him this far because the first thing you see the dad, he. He wakes up in the morning, puts on his wife's nightgown, and is running down to try to open his garage door because he only has one window um, left of his garage door windows because the paper boy has thrown papers through every one of them. And the paper boy is crazy. He's going after John Cusack the whole movie saying $2. And Curtis Armstrong plays his best friend. And, oh my gosh, Handsome, 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 but I'm partial, you know that. I'm partial to any part Curtis Armstrong plays, you know. I love me, my booger. Is he plays Charles. And eventually in the movie, um, the guy from Porky... Porky's, who plays Porky. Um, he plays John Cusack's boss. And John Cusack ends up seeing a hamber clay hamburger come to life and start dancing in um, David Lee Roth's voice. Claymation. <laughs> I miss that. Yeah, that, the hours and hours I must have spent. Okay, and then one crazy summer, John Cusack plays Hoops McCann. His dad wants him to become a um, basketball player, and he he's horrible at basketball playing. And, of course, Demi Moore's in it, too, but girls. Who wants to talk about girls? Not me. Um... And Curtis Armstrong is in it. He plays Augie. Uh, his dad's a military guy. And Curtis Armstrong plays a part just so sweet of a, a little, uh, just this kind, sweet little guy who plays, who, who just tries to help people and be nice and doesn't want anything to do with the military. And then we bought... Got Bobcat Goldthwait. Oh, you got me with Curtis Armstrong and Bobcat Goldthwait. Yes, those are the kind of guys I like that I think are cute. He plays one of the Toad brothers who's protecting a, a movie set that's in um, where Hoops and his best friend go to Nantucket. Go to spend the summer there. Where Hoops wants to get into art school. So he's making cartoons. And you get to see him all through the movie. Him falling in love with different kind of girls. And um, making different cartoons for the whole thing. And it's just a great movie too. Oh, I think the best part of this movie is... Bobcat Goldthwait, drink break. Um, Bob, 
Bobcat Goldthwait gets stuck in a Godzilla suit and is being Bobcat Goldthwait, making his noises, um, jumping up and down in the costume. Somebody throws a cigar into the Godzilla mouth, so it's smoking, and he's stepping on little tiny houses looking like he's in a Godzilla movie. Great movie. Great movies. Savage Steve Holland did such a good job on both these movies. And I love them. That's it. That's it. I love them. Yes. They're, they're in the special number one shelf along with my favorites. <laughs> Which, oddly enough, are not horror movies. <laughs> but that's... Those are the movies I usually watch the most. And usually love the most. But these are the exceptions. I love them. <laughs> so if you if you like that kind of humor, you'll love these movies if you don't love them already. I, yes. Love like oh. La 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 la. Sing happy song. Have fun. Bye.